Alright, so what is up guys? In this video I'll be showing you how to hide your soft keyboard programmatically and what does this mean? This means essentially if you were to type something in here and you click on this button, the keyboard will disappear automatically. And by default you will type something and the keyboard will remain, but this is a very nice uh, way of making the user feel a bit more comfortable with the UI and it makes things a lot nicer, a lot more smooth. So just to try it again, we'll write something here and as soon as we click on this button, it will update the text and it will remove the soft keyboard, which is very, very nice. So let's, uh, let's get started immediately. We're going to turn off this uh, phone screen and we can go to our layout file in our activity main. And we're going to go to split view. And now for this, I'm actually going to copy and paste a previous layout since it's a lot of effort to write it all over again. But I'll explain really quickly what I did here. So essentially I changed the default layout to a relative layout and under there I entered a linear layout just to keep everything in order in kind of a line let's say and I put the orientation to vertical. Then we have a text view with the ID of TV underscore text and this is the text that will be changed. I put the text size to 20 SP as you can see up there. Then we have an edit text with the ID of ET underscore edit text. I put EMS to 10, gravity is in the center. I put a hint of enter some text. And I also put a margin top of 30 dp so we can give that text up there a bit more room. And here I added a button with an ID of button underscore button. And essentially all I did here is change the background tint to make it look a bit nicer. And I wrote the text to update text with the text color of white so you can actually see the text pretty clearly. And that's all I did in the activity main XML but now let's go to the man, uh, main activity file. And in here we're going to write... Uh, a new function which is going to be called private function update text and inside here we will write button dot set on click listener and here we will just set the text for it so let's do tv underscore text dot text is going to be equal to the et our edit text uh, dot text to string and we also have to create another function which is going to be called private function close keyboard so let's go for that uh, let's make some more room for it so private function close keyboard and it's going to take a view right here and inside here we're going to create an input method manager so it's going to be val imm to keep things easy to read and we're going to do get system service and it's going to be context dot input method service and we're going to cast it as an input method manager so that's great so far then we're going to write imm dot hide soft input from window it's going to take the view and it's going to take a window token and then finally you just have to add a zero here for the flags then inside the update text we can write this close keyboard function and insert our edit text because that's going to be the focused view where we want the edit text to close. And finally, remember to add this function to the onCreate method so you can actually click on it and call it. But uh, that's all you need to do to programmatically close the keyboard. So let's test out this application immediately by clicking on our phone screen and clicking on play. And let's type some new text in here just to change things up a bit. So. Um, so we're just going to write code palace in here and write update text and as you can see the text gets updated, the soft keyboard goes down and that's great and if we write another letter it does the same thing. It's very efficient, it's very smooth and your users will appreciate this even if they don't really care or know they will appreciate this. But thanks for watching and if you have any other recommendations just leave them in the comment section below and I will look at them and uh, I'll see you in another video.